Right. I finally got a box from M5 Stack. Which, considering the time that it'll upload, must make this the December mailbag. In case you're wondering what happened to me thumb, this is what happens when you don't cut away from you. Always cut away from you. my way through the shipping label. Put that back in its scabbard. There we go. We're in. Right. What have we got in here? We have a brand new M5 stack dial. I had to wait for everyone else to get theirs because it had already sold out. I have the stamp card pewter. I have some bubble wrap. That'll keep me happy later. I have the latest PM 2.5 particle monitor. I have lots more of these breakout boards. Because I screwed up the video for the last one, I need to record it. And for that and a few more projects, I needed some more boards. I have another extra stamp. So running out of those. I have, what have we got in here? We have screen elements. These are the ST7789s that you found, find in here, but they also fit on the FPC connector that you can fit to the back of the S3s. So now I've got those, I can try experiment with that. Uh, what else have we got in here? We've got the capsule, another S3 base device. We have the AC unit. Need this for a testing project, but I've got to find what the hardware that I put that to. And I got some more tape. This is M5 branded tape. Covered in the M5 logo. I'm wondering where I've used it. I use it to hold these together for a project video I haven't recorded. And one day I'll actually get down to recording it. It's useful waterproof tape, well glue proof tape, for think little fixing projects like that. Chuck the box down there. Move those over there. Let's have a look at the dial. Cut away from me. Oops. We have a tiny little package here, which has the green two pin connector, which connects in the back there. We have the GCA, no, the GC9A01 round display, which you saw me do a, vid a quick video of previously. I'm not going to power it up because there's moisture on it, which isn't a good idea. Uh, it's based upon the Stamp S3 and has built in I2C port and a built in analog port. So if you need to connect in a temperature and you want to use it as a thermostat you can it has 
the outer edge here can be rotated. It has a touch screen, no button on it, but there's a reset button on it later. Set that one away, leave it till it all dries out. Next we have the card computer. Again, this is based on the M5 Stamp S3. It's got a built-in ST7789 screen. We've got a card slot, power off button, programmable button, reset button, use support there. A switch for selecting whether to put power in or out on this one. And a generic output port. Uh, we have a pin map of how the keyboard is connected to Stamp S3. And looking at it, it might have been based on the, the Faces keyboard. It has a speaker, screen, port, and it has its own battery. Power data. I've already had a suggestion on what to test for this, but I've got to learn how to use it before I can do that. It also has USB on the go, so apparently it can act as a host and output power over USB and somewhere there it is has a microphone that might be useful for remote logging into this thing which is the CM4 and if you're wondering what that flash was one of the overhead lights have just discharged I got a flat battery. So let's plug him into charge. Find the USB cable for that one. There we go. Capsule. Again, it's another S3 based M5 stamp based unit. Again, it's got built in card reader user button here which turns it on and turns it off got a little is that an IR LED? don't know my eyesight's playing up a reset button Growth port on the bottom. Connectors on the side for plugging wires in. It looks like there's another button he here, maybe. Not sure what that is. And it looks like these clips are compatible with existing M5 stick mounting brackets so you could in theory use this in the place of an M5 stick as I said I have lots of projects for them and when I finish reading this book which tells me how to do basic mathematics, but also trigonometry, which is useful if you want to know how to program robots. There you go, triangles, areas, 
cross surface, cross surface areas, sign rule, cosine rule. All these things I never took in when I'm in school. If you're wondering what else I bought, I bought an advent calendar. You may have signed this before, but I blew up the chip on this once and it's taken me all this time to get enough nerve to build another one to start again. So keep looking and you'll see all of these throughout December. Hope you'll find it useful. Links should be down in the description below. If you can spare any money, please buy, find it in your heart to buy me a coffee or, an, or a tea. Link you can find also in the bottom. Thank you for watching. I will see you for a new mailbag next year. Goodbye.